I'm Lex Thomas with Sterling Lancaster Community Television. I am incredibly pleased to be here this evening with this marvelous electric car. This is a first here in Sterling, and this is such an important event here that we want to present to you. Now, um, I think that uh, one of the first people that can really tell us most about this is Sean Hamilton from the Sterling Municipal Light Department. Sean, please come and tell me about this vehicle and how this came to be and what the significance is to our town. And it comes to be with the Energy Committee for the last few years. We've worked on the town buildings, we've done a lot of grants and things to the street lights and other things. And this is part of the Energy Committee's continuing effort to do things for the, for the town and to improve the town, to do energy efficiency projects. And with the kindness of the board, and uh, they've taken the vote to give this to the town as a, as a new vehicle, as another, you know, in line with our goals of, of reducing emission and Global Warming Solution Act and other things out there, that these are, these are the things of the future. And, uh, with the help of uh, MWIC, which is the Massachusetts Municipal Wholesale Electric Company, they went, they went out and negotiated um, rates these, ca these cars and got lower rates for all of us municipal light departments. So with that, and then the Department of Environmental Protection had a $7,500 grant they gave to the town and to the light department, um, along with the board's funding, and Quirk Chevrolet gave us an additional discount on top of what they were already offering. So with the combination of that, and then the, the SMLD made up the difference, and uh, we have the car here. It's exciting. Why is this important for our town? Because this is who we are. Sterling's known throughout the country for our batteries, for our solar. And this is just another step. But this, it, this is the wave of the future. This is where transportation is going. They're reducing carbon emissions, and this is one of the ways they're going to do it. And we just have to continue to be an example. Thank you so much. And I'd like to welcome up uh, Joe Curtin. Uh, who I know was amazingly important in making this happen. Joe, tell me about this. Uh, yes, Lex. Um, Mr. Mackey brought this to uh, the Sterling Light Board a few months ago, the idea of getting a smaller vehicle for use at the Senior Center because they run the big bus everywhere. And so through the Light Board, we looked at it and then brought it to our Energy Committee who voted to uh, go ahead with the uh, purchase of the car and like Sean said it it aligns with the work we're doing in town with the light department with the uh, green energy uh, um, issues that are going on and Dick's idea to help the residents of Sterling so it was win-win for everybody. Now do you think there will be more electric vehicles coming in the future? Um, I think in town we have like uh, 43 or something vehicles that uh, residents own now but yes this is going to be the uh, the wave of the future and it's going to be a way to help the, the residents and especially the seniors who have already put their time in in town and it's going to help them get around in a clean efficient vehicle and so the light board and and the energy committee should be applauded for this now joe how does this get powered uh, through just a regular right now it's plugged into a regular 110 volt it can go up to 240 i think it'll takes about eight hours on a 240 volt circuit to uh power it so, I mean, this is, this is really the, the wave of the future. Yes, it is. And it is with all the uh, emission issues and the green energy stuff going on at the State House and everything else. And, and the municipal's on the forefront of sort of leading the charge. And this is just another way of, of making it better for everybody. Now, I'd like to welcome up Veronica Buckley, who is the uh, director of the Senior Center and Joe Curtin, and I'd like to have uh, the other members of the select board, and uh, Dick Mackey, who I know was very, very involved with getting this happen. So we have here, we have here our select board members, uh, Maureen Cranson and John Kilcoin. We have Arden Sonnenberg, uh, select woman and um, Dick Mackey and I congratulate you all on this and I understand that so um, this means that I have to give up the key because I was really looking want, I, I, I really thought this was just yeah, something that I could enjoy but you I you can, you can enjoy it if you go to the senior center there you go there you go and and Veronica I'd like to to speak to you about that specifically so what is the importance of this to you 
Well, what I'd like to say on behalf of the Senior Center is just um, thank you very much for everyone involved with this project. I'd like to thank Dick Mackey for his coordination for the efforts. I'd like to thank Sean, Joe, the board, the SMLD board, for um, really seeing this a reality. Um, this really does make the Senior Center more energy efficient. Um, and in terms of our programs and services to seniors, it will um, enhance our ability to provide Meals on Wheels to our seniors, and it also is going to greatly enhance our ability to provide medical transportation for our seniors. So thank you. Now, I think that's a really important thing because we have a growing senior population here in Sterling, and I know that you're so involved with this. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, I think the numbers show that the senior population is growing. I think the Senior Center certainly um, represents that as we've been growing over the past few years. Transportation in Sterling is, a, is an issue. It's an issue for our seniors who no longer drive. And we really feel that um, this is wonderful to have an energy efficient way of, of bringing our seniors to where they need to go. And Maureen, as somebody that was so active in making this Senior Center happen, how do you feel about this? I feel pretty much the same way as Veronica, and I can't even thank Mr. Mackey, who started the charge, and Sean and, and Joe. I mean, it, this came to fruition in a matter of months, which is something unheard of in a municipality. So, and also, uh, one thing that Veronica didn't mention is something like this, sir, uh, we have a, she has a lot of volunteers down there. Um, and the Meals and Wheels people use their own cars, have right along. Um, this saves the wear and tear on their cars also. And uh, so it kind of enhances the volunteer uh, effort also, in case you're interested in volunteering for Meals on Wheels and driving this baby. Uh, I, I already held the keys, so I'm definitely interested. And Richard Mackey, you have been acknowledged as somebody that really got this going. Um, how did this come to be? What was your uh, impetus for doing this? And how do you feel today? Well, I came out of a conversation with Veronica about helping our volunteers save some of their own vehicles, their own maintenance, their own gas, and so on. And, um, and there is certainly a need for um, we've already mentioned at the Meals on Wheels and the medical transport and now we can relieve at least the expenses of our volunteers from that. So I approached uh, uh, Veronica and I have approached uh, Sean and uh, it was on the, on the go from that point and uh, he did 99 percent of the heavy lifting and we have a vehicle here to prove it. And it's a gorgeous vehicle. Now, I guess it's, uh, there is somebody here that is going to tear these uh, keys away from me and present them to Veronica. So, uh, so Veronica, let's see this. Of, uh, Sterling Light Department, the Energy Committee, MWIC, DEP, who help fund the car, and uh, the ratepayers in Sterling, we present you with the keys to the new car. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, and I think that one of these, uh, the, one of the the things that this initiative does really prove is that we are really looking toward all of our population here in Sterling, both in terms of uh, increasing our municipal uh, activity and really looking after our populations. I think this is a wonderful thing, and thank you so much for being with us this evening.